Thank you for being still here and welcome to part 2 of the simple radio tutorial. This is the blocks editor part where we can put our definition and the coding of our application. So actually when we play the when we click the button named play so but the event is button play click we want to play the streaming so we have to set the player one component source to the http of our streaming that we don't have it yet we'll show you how to get it in a moment and the player one start event now how to get the streaming source if you know it by yourself because you have a prefer a favorite radio no problem for this example i want to show you how to get this information from a shoutcast station okay so we are going to the shoutcast uh, internet site here we are and for example i want to search uh, for a pop station okay now remember that we are supporting only mp3 station so we have to select uh, mp3 and uh, now let's try to find uh, a station for example this one looks good that is actually playing guns and roses i have to use the embedded uh, uh, player okay i don't know exactly what happened but uh, you have to play the play button and uh, you should pop up the shoutcast uh, player okay now we want to see the uh, i press stop I want to see the uh, streaming address so I do the inspect element with the right click and I go to network okay and the network is say that uh, there are no requests captured so I have to reload the page as instructed by the Chrome and uh, when I select my radio sorry should pop up the radio player so after I press the reload I press the play again and when I start to hear the stream I go to the column of size and I see which column which uh, row is increasing his size meaning that uh, this is the streaming address okay so I click on it and I got a request URL which is actual the the HTTP uh, URL name of our stream so I can take this information and I can paste it as a text in our player source component okay so this is just uh, an example remember that all the mp3 uh, radio streaming radio are supported just uh, give address like this with the HTTP and eventually the port number now what we want to do on the stop click we want to stop the stream actually it's better to just pause it because it's uh, faster than the resume of the play of the uh, our station and the exit will have uh, obviously to exit the application so in the built-in control we have the close application function okay now we are almost done we want to test it on our device so we uh, select connect to device and then wi-fi remember that both your pc and your phone should be on the same wi-fi network so you need an android phone to actually test the application and you also need on your phone the app inventor uh, the companion application to get it just click on release notes and look for M mit ie companion 4207 okay that you can find it in the uh, play store download and install this application okay now using a wonderful bbq screen application i can show you actually what's going on on my phone so i click on the meet a companion application it will uh, launch up this is the application uh, you have to go in your blocks editor and select uh, connect to wi-fi it will show you uh, this uh, qr code that which we can scan on our phone and the connection between the blocks editor and the your phone will begin shortly okay so here we have our simple radio streaming application we are now going to test it 
I press play on the application and if you can hear it music started to play okay here the volume set it with the button of on my phone with the stop we are stopping the stream and the exit will not work here because we didn't package the mm, application and download it to the phone but we just connected it in uh, let's call it a debug mode if we want to actually download the application to our phone we have to go to the design editor in the package for phone press download to connected phone at this uh, point in time it will start packaging the application the progress bar will start to mm, to load up and show you the progress and uh, you will see uh, when it finished that uh, the application will be installed on your phone you get information that uh, the compilation is successful and the apk which is the format of the android uh, application will be installed on your phone shortly you can dismiss uh, this uh, screen and uh, verify that the application will be installed on your phone you see that is asking to install this application like any regular android application so we're going to install it to test it for the last time and then we are going to open it okay so this time the exit button will actually exit our application if you want to improve this simple application uh, you can think of changing the source to many different uh, uh, streams and maybe put uh, a nice header with the name uh, of the station you can use uh, if you want the slider to change uh, the volume of uh, your stream or you can improve the application uh, as you prefer you find the source code of uh, this application ready to be loaded into your projects in the app inventor in the comments of this video i hope you enjoyed for any comments use the youtube comments and if you like the video please thumbs up thank you bye bye